After months of research, scrolling the internet, digging through the books, the trail has led me here. Some say it's science fiction, paranormal, fourth dimensional planes, the hidden spaces in reality doesn't exist. They don't know what they're talking about. Hey, Monica. You made it. I went ahead and ordered for you. Got the usual. Thanks, I could use one. <laughs> hmm. So, how did my model work? So I've done a few test runs on what you initially had. And making the adjustments I've sent in my email, I think we're on the right track. You see, at the low frequency, I would get a response. But you see, whenever I increased the strain, I was able to pick up some signal from the paper. Very interesting. Increasing the power just might work, but it's risky. Too much power in such a small device. I'm impressed, Monica, but you'd be walking around with a portable cancer device slash pipe bomb if we get this wrong. That's why we're a great team. We won't. We need to figure out a material that could dampen the heat generated from the power sources, while at the same time protecting you from radiation. Mmm. Neoprene and silicone for the heat, and lead lining for the radiation. Perhaps. Of course that makes your device bulkier and heavier. But with the proper applications, we can keep it light. Hello, Dr. Gregory. Can I help you? Uh, yes, my name is Regina. Um, we haven't met, but I'm such a huge fan of your work. And I'm a former student of MindMelt. Um, he suggested that I should reach out to you for an assistance on this theory that I have. MindMelt? I haven't spoken to him in years. We studied at Montague together. How is he these days? Oh, uh, you know, mind melt. He's neck deep in theoretical and paranormal. So he hasn't changed a bit? No. And actually, speaking of change, I have been working on an early concept for a morphogenic device, and I was told that's your field of expertise. Well, <laughs> one of them. Um, wow. Uh, yeah, certainly. Uh, you know, in fact, I have actually have a couple books on that subject. Uh, I think they're around here somewhere. Oh, 
Hello, Monica. I know about you and your friend, Dr. Gregory. Playing on Beach in the Hidden Space? I already got what I need from him. Now, I just need you to finish the puzzle. But the hidden space is just a theory. It's like fourth dimensional travel. Stupid. The hidden space is real. I've been there. It's like this energy that I haven't felt before. A whole new reality. I need to get back out there. You were there? How? Don't fool yourself, Monica. Do you really think that I would give you that information so freely? You just get comfortable working for me for the next few days. Okay? <laughs> so you get to the hidden spaces and then what? I humiliate those who have humiliated me and cast me aside. The look on their faces once they see me. And when I destroy it, I destroy them, each and every Hello? You quit with it. I figured the TV would have drowned me out. But how to go seek? I play alone. You know, you're gonna have to come out. And when I find you. I can't continue this, Monica. That guy's still somewhere out there. These people are dangerous. Gregory, I just need your help sourcing the power. Come on, we're so close. Monica, they came to my house. They have the schematics. What about the device? Gregory, we can still get there. 